Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure begins at the water tower here in Ridgeway, South Carolina, about 30 miles north of Columbia, South Carolina. And I figured when in the Carolinas, why not meet up with the one and only Carolina Tony. Hey y'all. Did I get the coordinates right at approximately how far it is from Columbia? Um, 30 miles yeah, north. Yeah, something like that, 20 minutes. It is currently 39 degrees and there is an ice storm on its way, correct? Oh yeah, it's coming. Need to get all the bread and milk we can get. I didn't get any bread, I didn't get any milk. Did I say what day it is as the recording of, what's the day today? Today is Saturday? Saturday the 14th, 15th. Saturday the 15th. Saturday the 15th because yeah, if it was Saturday the 14th, then yesterday would have been Friday the 13th, which it wasn't. Right, it's the 15th. So we are in a community that only has three, by the way, join me and Carolina Tony, yeah. the one and only. Is there another Carolina Tony? I don't think so. So you are the one I'm and the only. I'm the one the only. I'm the man, the myth, the legend. I like that. Join me and Carolina Tony, the man, the myth, the legend. Shall you? Nailed it. And just to give a little layout of the land here, we're over here in Ridgeway where the tip of my little glasses is there. So Ridgeway, and then we're also gonna go up to Winsboro. So just kind of a general a general area here on the map, on the atlas, like to show kind of where I'm at. So you see Columbia's down here where I stayed last night and just ventured up half hour, 45 minutes or so to Ridgeway. So that's the general vicinity. We're just gonna kind of stay right around these parts. Yeah, I need one of these on the back of my vehicle. You got the, you got the advertisement rolling through town right here. Nice. Get your motor running. Oh, you got both the Carolinas in there. Yeah. South and north. You cover all of it. Yeah, man. You know, don't, don't, don't sell yourself short. That's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Don't sell yourself we, short. We get out on our highway. No, we get our motors running. We get out on the highway looking at adventure and whatever comes our way. And the first thing that's very unique about this little community, it has what they designate as, well, I also wanted to show the water tower there, the Ridgeway South Carolina elevation, 625 foot elevation water tower. And what's this, Tony? This is the old police station. And they say it's the smallest station anywhere. I mean, the world and the U.S., probably in the, in the U.S. There's more to that than that. It's also the old town well. So dates 1940 to 1990, it's the what? It's the old town well. The well. The well where they used to go get water. No kidding, you could go in here. Okay, we got some, we got an old typewriter here. It's kind of like, I feel like Jack Torrance would be in here, typing on here. You know Jack Torrance from The Shining? All work and no play makes Carolina Tony. Can you get me Barty Fife? That's another town, isn't it? Where's the well? It used to be here. Oh, so right over where all these pamphlets I think are. So yes. Was the well? So when the officers were in here, do they have to walk around the well? No, I think that was before. Beforehand. Yeah, I think it was beforehand. Okay. And there's a hole in the back where the animals would come drink. Oh, no kidding. Around the back Around of, the back, so yeah. we should walk out there and look at that. Yeah. This is pretty neat though. Well, the concrete pylons here. I didn't realize you could walk in here. See, I would have just, I wouldn't even check the knob. Oh, there we go. So it's like a little trough. Yeah, this was the town, the old town well before it was a police station. So it's a trough, so the animals, like you get the donkeys and the right. mules and the you horses. See, the little hole there, that's where the water would pour out. And the animals would come here to drink. So the water would pour out of here? I think so, yeah. So from inside? Or maybe like there's like some sort of like... Oh, here's... Okay, so we got the pumps here. It was a well, wasn't it? No? No. It was. I know it's a police station. That used to be the well house in town, and that's a horse water and troll behind. Right, right. They used to drive the horse Okay, so he is saying that you used, to, you used for animals. Well Okay, very cool. And that's what Yeah. There's something called Pig on the Ridge. That's my mother's family plantation home. My mother's family, Coleman, uh -huh. plantation home. Really? Yeah. 
They owned everything from here to 321. Uh -huh. That looks like it might used to be a fire department. No, no? It, was a, it was a barber shop there in the front uh -huh. for a long time. And then it was a dry goods store for the charm manufacturing down here. Okay. And then they turned it into a restaurant and three or four restaurants there. Yeah. Good food. Now the plantation home is the city hall now? Yeah. And uh, they got a museum upstairs. And uh, that's my great, great, great grandmother's home. She was there when Sherman came through and Beauregard came north to avoid Sherman and it was Confederate headquarters. No kidding. For two days, February 17th through the 19th and my birthday's on the 18th. <laughs> What's the pig on the ridge? Pig on the ridge is the biggest barbecue cook-off in the state of South Carolina. Okay. They do it right here. That whole lot out there and all the way down behind the stores and all the way up to the Baptist Church up yonder is filled up with cookies. They have about 75 cooked Wow. And they cooked, I think it was 34 whole hogs and 2,500 Boston butts this past year. Wow. It's the first first weekend in November, the first Friday and Saturday in November every year since 1999. I love some barbecue now. Boy, they cook it. I ain't kidding. They dance, everything. Yeah. Wow, this hardware store dates back to 1840. Yeah. Still open. Oh, there's a cotton gen back there. We'll have to walk over there. Look at that. So is this hardware store still open? Yeah. No kidding. Right wow. And I'll tell you what, if y'all want to see a church, uh -huh. that was, I'm, I'm a member of St. Stephen's Christian Church. I played the organ down there for 42 years. But it's the oldest church here in Ridgeway. Yeah, there's the cotton gen. And this gentleman's going to drive us over to that church he's talking about and let us in. Let us look at the historic church. Pretty nice guy. Uh, Industry or? No. No? No, it's mainly a bedroom community. So it's just somewhere people lived. Yeah. And I guess farming on the outskirts. Farming on the outskirts. I was uh, trucking groceries. I worked in a grocery store when I was in uh, grammar school. Yeah. Stocking shelves and cleaning up the meat market in the afternoon and everything. These trees are over 100 years old. Look at this gothic type architecture. Well, thanks to Bob, local resident, lived here his whole life. Jumped in his truck and he's driving us around. So this was this was the guy that was under Lincoln? Francis and Mary Thomas. First midshipman from a southern state to resign from the United States Naval Academy after the election of Lincoln. <laughs> Back in Lincoln's day. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> interesting. This is in uh, Served on the CS CSS Lady. Look how close the headstones are to the church itself. Incredible. I really like this. Look at this wooden bridge here with the wooden cross on it and this door. Wow. This is the guy that uh, signed the, the secession. See here? This is where one of the signers, member of legislature of the secession convention. Davis? Davis. Henry Campbell Davis. Y'all can look at the previous victims. stained glass windows. I love it. I love this. Oh wow, yeah. This is amazing in here. We got church pews down here. Old timey church pews. No kidding. So these panels on the wall that are all original? Yeah. So 
So is this the organ you played for 30, 40 years? Well, that's a, that's a new one, but it's got a good sound. It's a pipe organ without the pipes. Do you still have services here? Yeah. We're, we, they called it off because of the snowstorm that's coming for this Sunday. Starting tomorrow, it's supposed to get icy and snowy, right? Yeah. But the, uh, that's, north, that's from New York. They sent the baptismal font. It's written down there on the bottom. This is all the way from New York. Yep. And who owned the house up here at the top? Uh, the fellow that uh, was president of Southern Railroad. The president of Southern Railroad. You see it's on a hill, and you can see 360 degrees around it, and he owned all as far as you can see. Yeah. Way over there. Beautiful pond that I fished in a ton of times down there in the bottom of the hill. And then they had two guys come down in there and one of them fill out the boat and ground and so they that end of that didn't feel like they could liability of that anymore so doesn't look good on the president of the railroad's no, resume no. he was a big stockholder in the bank of ridgeway well his his uncle was a big stockholder in the bank of ridgeway all right got dropped back off definitely want to give big thanks to bob for showing us around said he's lived here his whole life Gave us a lot of info, gave us a, called it the 50 cent tour. Drove us around kind of on the outskirts of town as well. He was talking about this, this cotton gin, the Murphy gin. Told us to go take a peek at it back here. Got this old classic truck. Try to get some coffee. Are you a coffee drinker? Not really? I can't handle hot stuff. Well, I'm gonna get myself, I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Somewhere. He said there's a tea house, but I don't think they're open, so I have to walk over the convenience, or drive over the convenience store. It is gusty out here. And now I'm gonna take a peek inside the hardware store. Definitely has that old timey vibe. Been open back since 1840, and it definitely shows with all the items. Like stepping back in time in the hardware store. Another peek at the water tower here. Ridgeway, South Carolina. Like I have got in the DeLorean. <laughs> back in time? Gone back in time. There's a little bench over there. It's a fertilizer company sponsored it. SCO Company High Quality Fertilizers. Let's see if I can find some sort of, something exclusive around, something very exclusive in Ridgeway. Think we'll find anything exclusive? Oh, here we go, right here. Right here, there's something. We found it. Did that just walk up on you? I saw it when I drove in earlier. <laughs> I was waiting all this time for, this, for that joke. Noticing the architecture on this building very unique right here you know with the the way this looks here but take a look at this at the little the window sills extend out and there's these little patterns here that's different oh here's a coffee shop right here laura's tea room and okay this might be the spot right here there's also a philco the thomas company that's a classic sign, huh? It is. Now this appears to have coffee. You think they're going to be open? This coffee shop deli? It says the tea room. I see the little washboard sign out front. And they are open. And they said they have some coffee. So I'm going to get some regular coffee. Oh, wow. Look at this. Take a look at this old cash register here. This place really is like stepping back in time. And here is a photo from back in the good old days in front of the same building. I'm gonna walk back outside and I'll kinda, I'll get the same angle from outside. Look at this, look at these gentlemen here. All dressed, dressed to the nines. Dress, what's it called, dressed to the nines? That's the, that the phrase? I really And here is the current day. It definitely looks a little bit different. However, if you look up top, 
kind of the grid of the windows above it, that still looks the same all these years later. I also got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Tony added ice to his, he got an iced coffee. Remind me what a phonograph is. You know what a phonograph is? A record player. It is a record player. A record player. Drive over to the next town, maybe go. There's a railroad museum, right? Yeah. What's the town the railroad museum's at? Winsboro. Winsboro. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get in the car and go over to Winsboro. We had a good, had a good little visit here. A couple of the locals got some coffee. It's all the old station here with the trough around back. Oh, is this a payphone? How did we miss this? Wow. Did you notice this? I didn't notice it either. This is like Superman. This is like Richard Donner Superman right here. Adam's been filming all week and he's got telephone booths. This is awesome! Okay, I just, I am in shock and awe right now with this. Does it have a dial tone? No dial tone? That's still amazing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Look at the phone booth's been ripped out. Wow, I'm having some Chris Reeves Superman throwback moment, like nostalgia here. I cannot believe we missed this. I cannot believe we didn't see this till right now. Incredible. I didn't show enough detail on this. Just one last peek here. Got the seven digit dialing right there. Town of Ridgeway. Man, that is something else. Always check for coins. And then this closes, is that close? It doesn't close. Okay, they have it kind of stanchioned there where it's like, doesn't close. That is a relic. Commuting over to the next town, pull off the side of this road. Kind of interesting how close these are right to the thoroughfare as traffic goes by. But what really, besides, you know, besides the obvious here and how interesting this is in proximity to the road is this historic placard here about Thomas Woodward, a quarter mile east of here stood his home. It's been torn down now, but Thomas Woodward was a prominent leader in the South Carolina regulatory movement, 1768 to 1769, and a member of the first provincial Congress. But his house is gone though. And not too far down the way, maybe a quarter of a mile, there's a little section over here Tony was talking about. What are we looking for, Tony? We're looking for Anvil Rock. Anvil Rock. It's a little secret out in the woods. The Anvil Rock outside of Winsboro can hear you. What? Yes, it can hear you. Pretty fascinating. The rotating spinning rock, also known as Anvil Rock. How do we get it to spin? You make a lot of noise yeah. and it starts to spin on its axis? Yeah, it's but I don't see, I don't see an axis. Hello! That didn't work. Yeah, it don't work. So they call it rotating rock, but I don't think it rotates because the last time I was, if it rotated, it would break that tree down, don't you think? It would definitely break that tree down. But I can see what would be anvil rock because it looks just it like an like, anvil. Yeah, it looks like an anvil. Hello! Nah, I think that's just a legend. Yeah. It's a myth. This is so cool. Yeah, here's the thing that I think is neat. Is, yes, there's this rock and there's a few small ones around. 
So off down in the woods, there's no other rocks. Okay, so yeah, you got the one over there and over there, but once you go that way, there's nothing. Yeah. That is interesting. Why is this rock here? So it's almost like this something plop, plopped it down. Plopped it down right here. Maybe it fell off of a spaceship. It's a possibility. Yeah, there's maybe a dozen total rocks. Anvil rock being the biggest. There's a couple there, a couple there, a couple there. But once you get past that section, nothing out in the woods. Here's something else. This will blow your mind. Look at it. There's no graffiti on it anywhere. How many times have you been somewhere? Very rarely. One thing I do like about a lot of places, like small towns too, like a lot of historic buildings, even those like Coca-Cola murals and stuff, a lot of them are untarnished with like tags and spray paint. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Lone Ranger rock. Southern California, <laughs> a little bit. Dirt daubers. Dirt daubers. Just to show the height of this, how tall it is. Yes, we can both stand underneath it. Yeah. Oh, I'm touching the, the dirt dauber. Nests. Is that like wasp nests? I don't know, but there's nothing in it now. We're good. Yeah. Anvil rock. It didn't turn though. Yeah, yeah. Hello! Oh, this rock does not turn. That's your expert opinion? I'm just my expert opinion that we can officially debunk the myth that this is rotating rock and it's anvil rock. I like we both have the same idea to yeah. perch our cameras yeah. right in the tree. Yeah. That's how it's done. You gotta, gotta be creative. I did the same thing. Mine was perched right here. Yeah. Debunked. Debunked by Carolina Tony. Mm -hmm. If this thing starts to move as yeah. we're walking out, you're gonna be now just across from the railroad museum that we're going over to is this property, which is very unusual. We can go around you. Parked on the side of this little small road, but a car's coming through, so he's gonna move his truck. But look up here on the top of the pole. Like the silhouette of a worker up there. And there's a bicycle over there in the tree. You said there used to be an airplane in the tree? What happened to the airplane? I think the wind blew it down. It was in that tree right there. There was an airplane just kind of dangling in the branches of the tree. Yeah, like it crashed in the tree. But I believe it blew it down. That bicycle has a, look at this. This bicycle has a log attached to the front tire. Take a look at this. That log is tied to the front tire of that bicycle. That's interesting. Father, mother headstone right there. Found the plane. It's back here around the back of the property. Now there's some signs that say beware of dog. So I don't know if we should tread lightly here. For whatever reason, the train museum is closed, so we're not going to be able to go in the buildings, but we'll be able to look at the trains from a distance, going to walk to the far end. Ooh. Number 27, Southern Railroad, we were in the other town earlier, the gentleman took, took us by the property of the president of Southern Railroad, so this would be some of the his trains from that home he showed. You just picture like some lions up in there going to a circus. Lions and tigers.
locomotive number 44 out of Hampton and Branchville. Do not climb on the train. This one dates back to January of 1927. I feel as if it's getting a little colder by the moment. Putting your sunglasses on? Yeah. <laughs> you feel like Jack Nicholson when you wear sunglasses? <laughs> I have a little bit of Jack Nicholson vibe going on when I had the sunglasses on, right? I'm home. What was that? I said, I'm home. You're, is that a Jack Nicholson impression? Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like the one where he says, wait till they get a look at me. That's it. Oh, from Batman. Yeah. From the Tim Burton Batman. And of course, yeah. the Here's Johnny is probably the most famous line at yeah. Nicholson. And then Five Easy Pieces. You ever see Five Easy Pieces? No, no. You gotta see Five Easy Pieces, man. No. The diner scene in Five Easy Pieces? You should look it up. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. We're getting off on a Nicholson tangent. Yeah, okay. We'll All right. Off on a dirt road. Nickel Plate Road. Look at this. High speed service. Look at this old train car. Look at this old, well, not a train car, but something you would utilize on the tracks as well, right here, next to the Chessy system. Look at that relic. That's cool. And I can definitely tell the temperature is dropping quickly. It's getting cold. Now in downtown Winsboro, I'm looking up here. This is a place called Vicky's Hype Hair. Yeah, Vicky's Hype Hair. But notice the, the signage up top. Looks like that sign was like made back in the 70s, that kind of plastic type sign. That's a neat looking building right there. Think that's the courthouse? That is the Winsboro Town Clock. Oh, that's the Winsboro Town Clock, the courthouse appears to be right here, right here on this corner, this big corner. Oh, you got the dogs barking. Chartered in 1785, Winsboro. Their slogan is time well spent. Oh yeah, like this a lot. This mural, almost, not, I wanna say it's 3D looking, but it kinda has a 3D vibe to it with the horse head sticking out of the side of the wall over there and the train busting through well appears to make it look like it's busting through a train tunnel going out the side of the wall nice ambiance with the dogs barking off in the distance too What would they sell here? I guess fruits and vegetables. I found another mural too. Look down here, look down the hall here. Another one. Oh, the market mural. Kind of looks like a like a old fire station in a lot of ways too. It does. But it was used as a oh look at the doors. Yeah. yeah. That is so cool where the where the top part will open the bottom part stays closed. So the horse can stick his head out. Is that what that's for, the horses? I don't know. Well they said it was a marketplace. I'm a, I'm gonna guess. It does kind of look like a horse like a horse stall. For ventilation and maybe keep the dogs and dogs out. Or the horses run away. That makes sense. Yeah, Fairfield Market. Which is back here now. The railroad runs through here as well. See the tracks up there. We're not in the town of Fairfield though, but it's called the Fairfield Market. Fairfield County. Fairfield County, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. This is a very, this is a, a bank drive through This is quite the antique machinery here. Look at this thing. 
I've never seen one that looks quite like that. Look at the TV there. Well, the monitor. That's different. This says Cornerstone Assembly. Also some other writings up top as well. And then this mural is like a, a pool of some sort with a fence around it. And then some popcorn. Here's some popcorn right here. Got the insurance of Fairfield there and a place called Best for Less. Old sign is kind of falling apart. Best for Less. That's just a guess of what I believe it says. But then also insurance place there. Yep, this was the courthouse of Fairfield County. The stairwells here. Pretty neat stairs. There's a sign up here that gives a date stamp. Courthouse was built in 1822 by William or W.M. McCrate under the supervision of Robert Mills, South Carolina architect. You know, Robert Mills was America's first trained architect he was he okay was. i did not know that yeah it was also renovated back in 1939 and additions back in 1844 so 1822 original additions in 44 and then 1939 was when it was last renovated so 1939 when they did the wings you think that's when they did the stairs, the stairs in 1939. that makes sense flying stairs is that what they're referred to as? The flying, flying stairs. Pretty neat. Pretty dang cool looking, right? I'm just driving through town a little bit. This home belonged to James Henry Carlisle. I always like when areas have these little information plaques all along. And yeah, we're just kind of cruising around the outskirts of town. See what we could find. J.H. Kennedy store. I don't think this is open anymore. No, I don't think so. Now approaching an old stagecoach stop built in 1820. It is also on the National Register of Historic Places. Thought it was down the dirt road that we just went down, but it's not. It's right here on the corner. And I was doing a little research on it. There used to be a sign out front that stated the information, but the residents have taken that sign down. But this is an old stagecoach stop from 1820. Yeah, take a look at this. The sign used to be in the front yard, says inherited back in 18, 1817 by William Jones, I believe that says. The sign is not there anymore. This, is, this was a tough to find. We thought it was, we didn't think this was it. We passed by it, thought that can't be it. We drove down that side road and then realized, nope, this is it, judging by the photo. Old stagecoach. Stop. Yep. Kind of cruising around some of these small towns is what I've been doing. All right. Yeah, good talking to you too. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. So that's going to do it for today. It's a good time hanging out with Carolina Tony, who's behind the camera. I'm back here. 
still amazed by this. This is a good place for the outro. That was good. We'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It's over. Wait. I'm gonna do the Nicholson. Do your Nicholson impression, Caroline Tony. <laughs> okay. You can't handle the truth. Oh uh, yeah. You... What was what we said earlier? Uh, no. You said it earlier. Honey, you're home. Honey, what do you say? What does he say? Why did I get a look at me? I love the vlog is over.